Welcome back to Morning Drive. We'd like to continue our discussion on race and sports in America. On Monday, PGA Tour University and the Advocates Professional Golf Association Tour announced a partnership to help top black golfers transition from college golf into the professional ranks by easing the financial burden associated with playing developmental tours and application fees for the Corn Ferry Tour qualifying tournament. The newly created APGA Collegiate Ranking helps identify the top black golfers at NCAA Division I, II, and III programs. The top five players will be exempt into summer events on the APGA Tour as well as the Corn Ferry Tour qualifying tournament that same year. This morning, we are pleased to be joined by Florida A&M's Moby Dillard, the number one player in the inaugural APGA Collegiate Ranking Top 5. Good morning, Moby. Can you elaborate on the importance of the APGA Collegiate Ranking helping to ease the transition from collegiate to professional? Good morning. Um, hi, yeah, I can elaborate on that. It is a very, very good thing that they're doing, the APGA. It, um, it allows us to just get a little bit of a um, head start on the road to the professional golf tour, um, especially me. I thank the APGA a lot um, because they have made sure to give everything that they have to offer to make it so that uh, the up-and-coming black golfers are um, are having a a better way to get onto tour and a better way to get to professional golf. Moby, what does this gesture tell you about how serious the PGA Tour is in its diversity efforts? It shows a lot, actually. I, I can see uh, that the PGA has really been opening up and trying to definitely make the point of having more diversity in the game um, because we know that for the longest that has been a um, mostly white sport and for them to actually come out and collab with the APGA shows that they're actually putting in a big effort and that they're trying to actually make change instead of just say that they're going to make change. How about for our viewers Moby, who aren't familiar with the APGA, what kind of impact has the tour had on the development of your game in the pursuit of a professional career? The APGA Tour has had a tremendous um, effect on my game, actually. I, I've i started playing when I was a freshman in college on the APGA Tour, and the relationships that I have had and just the competition that I've been able to play against on the APGA Tour has made a tremendous difference in my game. It's allowed me to play with people who have played on tour and people who have my same aspirations to play on tour. And it's a great competitive vibe, but at the same time, it's a very family vibe. And everybody makes sure to take care of you and show it each other the ropes. How about before the APGA? You grew up in Chicago. It's the city where both my parents were born. How were you introduced to the game of golf? Actually, my father introduced me to the game of golf. Uh, when I was younger, he would go to the driving range, and I would go with him. I would just watch him hit. And eventually, I just stepped up and, and started hitting balls. And, and my dad got me into tournaments when I, was, when I was about five or six. And he traveled with me every single summer for every tournament that he possibly could. And I cannot thank my dad enough for introducing me to the game because after that, uh, it's gotten me to where I am now. And he's been by my side this whole time. It definitely brings families together what's it been like growing up as a minority in the game of golf you mentioned that it is a largely white sport growing up as a minority um it was tough when i was younger because i didn't really take into consideration that i was the only african-american playing on the um, illinois junior golf association and the mid-american junior golf tour that i that i played in uh, coming from the midwest but it, but my love for the game was so strong that it really wasn't something that was um, a burden to me. It was something that I kind of took into consideration and made it where um, if I was already standing out as an African-American golfer, I wanted to make sure that I stood out on the leaderboard and stood out in terms of um, 
my personality and just characteristics toward the game of golf to make sure that everything tied in together so that in the end, if I was going to stand out as a black golfer, then then people were going to people were going to see it. Well, you clearly love this game. How would you describe your skill set as a golfer? I would describe my skill set. Um, I would I would like to say that I'm a pretty pretty good golfer. I know that there are definitely some things that I need to work on, but over the years, uh, especially coming from Florida A and M University and being on the golf team, has has helped my skills tremendously since the first day I got here, and and where I'm at now. Um, I'm definitely improving, and hopefully looking to improve a lot more. Well, I want to hold your feet to the fire uh, like you're Justin Thomas or, or Rory McIlroy. Where can you improve? Where can you get better? Um, I can definitely improve on my short game, for okay. sure. Everything everything around the greens, everything 150 yards in is something that I know sets those uh, Justin Thomases and Tiger Woods from – any regular kid like me. So I will definitely be spending hours and hours on short game for the rest of my golf career. Yeah, that's where the money's made. That's where the trophies are won. So Moby, you're the CEO of the Moby Dillard Coaching Academy. You've served as a mentor for the first tee of Greater Chicago. Why is giving back to the game so important to you? Giving back is very important to me because when I first started, there were a lot of high school kids and college kids that I grew up around that that helped me and gave back toward the game so that I could get to where I was trying to be. And for me, it actually hits it hits home a lot because the reason why I am at Florida A and M University is because my godbrother actually took me under his wing and taught me all the ropes to get to the next level that I was at. And without him, I would not be where I'm at today. And and my main purpose is everything that I learn, I want to be able to give back to a kid that's looking up to me and sees where I'm at. And I want him to know that it's not as hard as it seems. And I want to be able to tell him and show him that in my own personal way, just like everybody before me was able to show me that same way. Mentorship, such a huge part of our game. Malby, looking forward, what is your ultimate goal in the game of golf? My ultimate goal is to eventually get to the PGA Tour. My dream ever since I was a little kid was to play professional golf whether it be on the pga or whether it be on the mini tour or anything but my goal is just to be able to play golf for as long as i possibly can because um, after i was introduced to the game i fell in love with it and i don't see that changing anytime soon well moby keep dreaming keep fighting the good fight uh thank you for your time and for sharing your story uh, thank you you guys have a good rest of the day